you open your mouth and you're like, oh, it's just it's yeah. just I natural, think, right? right? Yeah, I also think it's also natural to overthink it. And then sure. when they yell action, you're like, well, I got to do it, so. Yeah, right. so here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. There were lots of right times for it. I think now is a more crucial time to give representation, especially when there is an administration that is so vocal about their hate for so many different groups. It's yeah. come at a time that's just so socially relevant right now. Like just the fact that this is happening at the time that it is, I couldn't feel more blessed to be a part of be a part of this change right now to be on a platform where now that we have so much inclusion and and diversity like it's it's such a blessing to be a part of i couldn't be more grateful i think now is the right time because so much has changed and so much hasn't i mean we're riding that line of desperate need for content i don't think there's enough content people keep asking me like what are you gonna do now there's all these queer shows i'm like there really aren't actually there's some really serious issues that our population faces you know we make up uh like 40 percent of the youth homeless population like that doesn't make sense we're only like 10% of the population. So there's still something wrong here. There's still like a lot of shame that exists inside our culture. And I, I think that seeing more of it is one way. And it's the only way I personally know how to affect change. So I'm just like really delighted to have the opportunity to do so. Something you said during your audition that really moved me about watching the original show. A lot of things. The story of race today, how it's changed from when the show aired back in the day to now and how so many things have changed. The specifics like in the past, in the first run of the show of like Tina and Beth's relationship, the things that they had to go through and the struggles and the love and the heartache inside of that, you know being in an interracial relationship and how they've navigated through that world and now what it looks like today. Like that's something that's gonna look different now because it's 10 years later and there are so many different stories to bring up now in Generation Q, which is like really exciting. The reason that Marge is doing the show now is because she knows things that have passed me by, not all together, but, but still she's you know, got a perspective from her generational point of view. And I think that you know there are possibly new things about queer life, but queer life is ongoing. We've been here for a long time. We're going to be here. And there are you know words and conventions that evolve. And I think that what the show is going to talk about is where we've been, where we are now, what we're navigating. When we uh, were on the air, like gay marriage wasn't even legal. You know, nobody was talking about um, non-binary identity. Like there was the, the, the whole conversation about identity was very different than what it is now. And so one of the things the show will explore is, is how we talk about identity now, how we talk about sexuality now, how we talk about gender identification now. So people have that to look forward to. And I think it's really exciting. Seeing a one more Asian trans guy on TV, there's some slow but happening representation of Asian trans masculine non-binary folks. But we're gonna see in a new in a new light. And I'm really, really excited explore what it's like to be a trans person who loves somebody and who loves people and who grows close to people what that looks like when we decided to bring the show back my colleagues at showtime and i decided that we'd hear ideas from a number of different writers but marja was somebody that i invited into this process because i had worked with her on another project and i saw how smart she is and how her point of view imbues the work that she does for me the original represented it was the first way wave of queer women that I ever got to see on television. I was 19 when the show came out. And so I came out like alongside the show, basically. I was deeply inspired by Eileen Shaken. I, I didn't know that I could tell stories that were like just about lesbians falling in love. Like that had never occurred to me. So she changed the way I write and she changed the way I approach story. We know each other from from not not from the show. I always imagined her as this character. So there's something also just like really trippy about shooting it now and like watching it actually come to life. It's it's better than the dream though. I was a huge fan of the show. And I think also the audition process was different from others. They created a space that was easy to have a lot of freedom and there aren't these like harsh lines 
that there usually are with TV and you don't have to stick to like exactly what they want. You allow us to bring ourselves to the character in a really interesting way. I think it's the friendships, you know, I think it's the friendships between the characters. And people seeing part of themselves mm -hmm. in, in certain characters and I think that's what makes it relatable and, and like Jennifer said, the friendships, you know, make it universal. And I also like you said earlier about that a lot of gay characters you see on television are the supporting characters and I think it is so important that this is front and center, like we're all front mm -hmm. and center. It's rare. Well, I think we always are learning from one another and it was really so much fun to, to have these new characters and also to have these new actors who have a, you know, fresh take on this whole world, you know, and a lot of the people I think knew the show. But what I, I love is you get to experience these, you know, fresh stories from a different generation's viewpoint. Getting to see how our lives are going to intermix with the OGs and having, you know, us be kind of something that viewers can look to and be like, oh, that's me. That's a little piece of me and speak to them in that way. I think that's what really excites me. And I think a lot of questions will be answered too. Yes, right? yes. A lot of questions yeah. will be answered for sure. And yeah. I think what's fun is you get to see some of the original cast members interact, but you also have this <clears throat> whole new cast that's there who are really wonderful and funny and, and passionate and their stories are really compelling. So, um, And it'll be interesting to see how they then mesh with three us. of us and and you know what are the similarities and what are the differences right. honestly just being able to work with people who have literally broken ground on so many things just and learning from them and jennifer said this thing before about you know learning from each other and she said that you know that we have things <laughs> to teach them which i was like whoa yeah. you know like there's so many things. It takes a lot of courage to do what these beautiful people did in the past and like being able to be part of that now and hopefully try and bring up other things that haven't been spoken about is something that's really exciting. And to be brave like that is something that I'm definitely excited to keep doing and striving to do. Mm -hmm.